So I recently got a comment on my Connect 4 video that basically said, what if I used float alignment to transport the concrete powder up? And this is obviously not a new thing. It's been around for a very long time. Uh, but surprisingly, it's something that I never knew about before. So basically what float alignment is, is that if I were to zero tick this piston right as a falling entity comes past it, then that falling entity will get moved by a very, very tiny amount into the other column of blocks. So even though it's still technically part of this column of blocks, it will actually be slightly part of this column. It will move through these blocks and it's actually able to get affected by this slime block. So if we were to bounce this slime block up, then that will be able to bounce the entity up even though it's in this column. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place the concrete powder and then this will bounce up and it will bounce all the way up the column and it will be affected by the slime block next to it. So let's go ahead and place a concrete powder. And that goes all the way up. And this can actually be applied to a lot of different things. Let's go ahead and try with anvils. And you see that gets bounced up. A bit of a graphical glitch, but yeah, it goes all the way up to the top. And we can do the same with dragon eggs. And I should mention, we can't actually push dragon eggs and anvils while they're in their block state. Uh, but if they're a falling entity, then we can move them into place. Let's go ahead and try this. And that goes right up to the top. So overall, a very easy way to transport entities straight up. So this is in contrast to something more complicated like this. So um, if we weren't transporting our concrete powder or whatever straight up, then we'd have to do something like this where you move it over and bounce it up and move it over. And yeah, that's just a lot more complicated than just transporting it straight up. So this same concept can be applied to minecarts. So what I have here is a minecart elevator. And what's going to happen is that I'm going to spawn the minecart in. It's going to fall down to here. And this piston will come out. It will zero tick the minecart, which will float align it with this block. So then it will be able to be affected by these slime blocks. So let's go ahead and do this. Just zero tick the minecart and then we can get in and we're going to go straight up. Yay! So that is all very well and good, but we can actually take this concept even farther. So what I have here is a whole row of blocks that we can transport straight up using float alignment. And so each one of these pistons is getting zero ticked using this uh, tileable module. And then we can also stagger it. So every 12 blocks, we're actually staggering it back and forth. That way we're not affecting the module next to it. And so we can transport each row of these blocks um, straight up using float alignment. So let's go ahead and do this. And you can see they all get transported straight up and they fall over to there. So again, what's happening here is that we're pushing the concrete powder out, it gets bounced up, and then right as the concrete powder passes in front of this piston, we're zero taking the piston, that float aligns it slightly into this block, and then it's able to move up through here, the string detects the concrete powder coming by, and then this bounces it up, and you can do that over and over again until it goes to wherever you want. And finally, just to show the concept a bit more, this is basically a mini version of Mr. Korwalski's map printer, except this is more so just the conveyor belt portion of it. And admittedly, this is kind of a messier and bigger version than I think what he would build, uh, but it's what I was able to make. And so what's going to happen is that the concrete powder is going to fall down and then it gets moved along the conveyor belt and then it falls down into the pistons and then it falls into our float alignment module. So it's going to fall down here. It's gonna get bounced up by these slime blocks. It gets zero ticked by these pistons and then it goes up as far as you want it to go. So I should mention that each of these modules is 10 blocks in length. So this assumes that all 10 blocks are getting pushed up at the same exact time because we're only detecting one of them over here. But yeah, then we stagger it back and forth so as not to interfere with each other. And yeah, we're just moving sections of 10 straight up. And yeah, let's go ahead and test it out. So it gets moved along our conveyor belt. And it might look a bit glitchy, but we're gonna go ahead and see it coming straight up right here. <laughs> and it looks so cool. There's so much rainbow. And that's going to fountain over like this 
and then it's just gonna cycle back and forth. So it does look a bit glitchy because it's not exactly rendering it completely correctly. But yeah, it's gonna go back down, back through the conveyor belt, and it will get bounced up again. And of course, once it comes up to here, this is where you'd want to store your concrete powder. That way you can print it later. And also you'd want to sort your concrete powder here as well, but I haven't quite figured out how you could actually do that. I know I made a video on sorting concrete powder, uh, but that machine actually relies on it coming in a block at a time. So it's not tileable. And what we would need here is some sort of tileable version. That way we can sort each row um, all at the same time. So I don't really know how you would do that, um, but maybe somehow it's possible. And voila, very, very cool looking and a very easy way to transport concrete powder or whatever you want straight up. So I don't know how long this bug has been in the game. Obviously it's been in the game for a very long time. Um, and I don't know when it might get fixed or if it will get fixed. But for now, I think it is very useful and I hope you found this useful and interesting. If you did, go ahead and leave a comment, subscribe, like the video, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.